Hey, welcome to Electric Thrust. I'm Clint Donaldson. Today we're going to install the heater on the Mini Cooper. Now, when it comes to an electric vehicle conversion, you've got two choices for a heater. You can either use a ceramic core heater, which is, you know, use electricity to heat up a, a core, and you then have to modify the vehicle uh, so that you can tap right into the vents in the vehicle and the fan on that, um, uh, that ceramic heater core basically blows hot air through the system. Or you can use a water heater where it actually heats up water much like your internal combustion engine would on, uh, on the car and it basically you know, heats up that water, circulates it through the evaporator and the fan that's already built into the system uh, you know, blows that hot air through the uh, vehicle. Now, what we've done is we've chosen a uh, package from Evolve Electronics and this is a, a water, water core heater and you've got your main core here that basically holds the water. This is a dual core heater, it's two stages. So you can actually you know, use one core to heat up the water at a certain temperature or you can use both cores and really heat that water up fast and then you get even hotter air. Um, so that's nice. Um, a lot of them out there are just one stage. So as soon as you turn it on, you get what you get. Um, the one thing about these is you, when you turn them on, it's going to take a few minutes for the water to heat up, and then you can actually start circulating hot air through the vehicle. Um, they're a little bit safer than you know, a ceramic core heater element. Costs a little bit more, but in the long run, it's going to work a lot better. It's going to be a lot safer. So let's get started. First, we're going to start off with installing the water pump. Now, I've, uh, it didn't come with any kind of hanger to mount this on the vehicle, so I had to actually manufacture one. This is actually just a two-inch conduit hanger um, for electrical. Um, I took the thing, ground down a little hump right here, so it would basically sit perfectly on this little ring. And it makes a nice little mount that bolts directly to one of the mounting holes that was existing on the vehicle that we're not using anymore. Now, what I've tried to do on this vehicle is use as many of the existing uh, mounting holes as possible. And this bracket right here was modified slightly and cut off so that I could actually mount this directly in here. Um, also created a little, little bracket right here, bolts onto this, it's a little hanger to allow me to use an existing hole um, that's already in the vehicle. 